What's also going to be pretty cool is this cool down that we're tracking for the day today, tomorrow. Really talking about the coolest temperatures that we've had here in the area since March. So maybe time to kind of crack the dust off those sweaters. I think a lot of us will want those tomorrow morning. Here's this cold front and you can kind of see where that boundary is. It's just to the north of Tampa, slowly going to continue this trend sinking south. And so as for any showers and storms with it, you can see a couple of those out in the Gulf along that boundary, some of those in the Atlantic, but we actually have some drier air, and so that's really going to limit any showers, and this is generally going to be just a dry day for us, and really we're going to continue on this dry stretch really right on through the end of the week. This weekend really looks quite nice as well, but some stronger winds on the backside of that system. They haven't yet moved into our area, so winds are still calm, but I do expect those to start to pick up here over the next couple of hours, especially as we get closer to the 10 o'clock hour. We'll start to feel more of these winds like what we're seeing up into parts of North Florida. So our sustained winds today, mostly in this, you know, up to 15 mile per hour range. And then we look on into Thursday, where even though that front pushes to the south of us, we're still going to be in this breezier setup, where at times you'll get a stronger gust moving through 20 to 25 miles, and certainly we'll notice those winds today and tomorrow, and then they'll slowly kind of wind down. But with this front moving across the area, a few more clouds will be noticed, especially this morning as this boundary kind of moves across the area through the first half of the day today. So then once it's south of us, the clouds will kind of move south of us as well. And so we should have a nice second half of the day. More of those sunny skies will be out. And so it's not going to be totally cloudy out there, but we will see more clouds than what we've seen over the last couple of days. And then as that pushes to the southern base of the peninsula, we get this much drier air mass moving overhead. And so humidity pretty much drops off the board as we're going to be talking about these dew points on into the 40s and 50s. Here's where they're at now. We're kind of on the humid side of this front where it's 72 for the dew point in Tampa and St. Pete, Sarasota, 70 for you. But then Brooksville starting to feel the influence of that front dew point 58 there. So you can see a big division in that. And, and we're going to expect those uh, dew points to start to trend downward over the next few hours. So by this afternoon and through really Thursday, Friday, 40s and 50s is where we're going to be at. So we're going to be talking about some really pleasant conditions. If it wasn't so breezy out there, really would be a lovely couple of days. But I think those breezes are going to make it feel just a little bit chillier than some of us would like, especially tomorrow morning with those 50s all across the area. Okay, checking on the tropics now where we are still watching Invest 94L. That's that wave here out in the open Atlantic. 50-50 shot for this to develop in the next seven days and 30% odds that it develops in the next two days. So slow development is going to be the key with that one. And then this other area here, only about a 20% chance for this to develop. This little yellow blob that we see here in the Caribbean is actually more likely to bring some areas of heavy rain to Central America. But it's Invest 94L that we're keeping close tabs on as it's generally heading due west. Now, notice some of those models as they kind of play out here on the bottom of the screen. We've got a couple of strong steering influences happening right now, and one of those is the cold front that's moving across the state. And so this is going to be a strong front. It extends well south and well out into the Atlantic, and you can see those models kind of curving south. And, and this is why, you know, these winds don't really have a place to guide it up into parts of Florida and even the southeast as well. So that is really great news for us. It's going to act to kind of block any tropical systems from coming into our area. And so that's exactly what what we need right about now. We've certainly had our fair share of hurricanes here in the state. The season has been a busy one and October still is a busy month, but hopefully some of these fall fronts will at least provide some better steering flow to keep these systems away from the state. 77 for our high today, 56 for tonight. If we end up hitting the mid 50s, it really is going to be the coolest temperatures that we have had here around the area since early this year. 79 for tomorrow, breezy, but feeling pleasant out there on Thursday. We do have a small craft caution on the water today with seas two to five feet, rough on bay and inland waters, north winds 15 to 25 knots, low tide 747 this morning, high tide 209 this afternoon, and rain-free conditions really will continue right on into this weekend as we warm back up into the mid-80s.